Remember this? All right. Let's go with this damn thing. Steve, I need the ladder. All right. Dude. Yeah! You thought I was dead, huh? Well, Uncle Rich made a makeshift respirator out of a Ziploc bag and a bottle of great value cranberry juice to bring himself back to life. And yes, it finally happened. I rebuilt myself. Now, if you aren't watching all the crap we put out on our loss and need to keep up, hit that subscribe button just in case you missed on how the storylines tie together. Here's a hint. They don't. Last week was a real doozy. steve and I were in the desert and thought we found a true damsel in distress. So naturally, I drove off because no one gets a free ride from Uncle Rich. Well, it turns out it was Linda wandering around the desert aimlessly, claiming she was on an adventure. Tell me where you've adventured. Santa Barbara, Laguna Beach. Those sound like cities to me. And then okay, that's enough. Make sure you check out that video in the description box below. We are back with the Sprinter van build. In episode one, we got the van, gutted it, and removed the partition behind the front seats. And again, you remember this scandal because everyone cried in the comment section that we should have left it. But when I asked anyone if they wanted it for free, exactly. After that, we sound dampened it, insulated it with sheep's wool, installed a light bar over one kilowatt of solar panels, and then hammered in the walls. It started out with a cheap van, but boy, that escalated quickly. It gets expensive fast when you wanna make a home in the back of a cargo van and do it right. Fortunately, if you don't wanna to have to make deposits at the hospital or sell thirst trap images of yourself on the internet, there's a better way that will warm your little hippie hearts with Omaze. My friends over at the Van Smith are offering a new Mercedes-Benz 4x4 Sprinter van plus $80,000 worth of customizations. You could have your new home away from home delivered to you or if you're already homeless like Linda, you can just get a fancy new home in general. They'll even fly you out to the Van Smith shop in Colorado, and you can literally just live there in the parking lot. And the best thing is that every donation supports the Access Fund, which is a mission to protect public lands and repair trails so you and your new home can go explore nature or just stay in the parking lot if you want to. For your chance to win a custom Mercedes-Benz 4x4 Sprinter van for far less money and effort as it is taking us here and support a great cause, go to www.omaze.com slash richrebuilds. Now, because I wasn't killed and only severely injured from the fall, I told steve to avenge my fear of heights and cut down a tree. This was also a clever ploy to save money because... Have you seen the prices of wood lately? So yeah, we're gonna cut down a tree and I know that everything we do, someone's bound to complain about it. And I know you really, really wanna get angry about us cutting down a tree because you may not know where wood comes from or what 90% of the houses in the United States are made out of. But to make the environmentally friendly people feel better about what we did, I requested this tree be cut down because I was driving my shrimp through the woods and the tree got in my way. Fun fact, Steve Vaughn and his brother enjoy doing the finest of Caucasian activities like golfing and boating and costume dinner parties and snowmobiling, parkour and doing wood stuff. And I like to do black guy stuff, which is watching them do these things. Now that you're here, let's learn more about where this lumber comes from, shall we? Take it away, Steve Vaughn. Never hell. Yeah. Are those assless chaps? What do you got going on there? Yeah, I was expecting to see some bucks. Yeah, you should probably not have pants on under that. I would definitely cut the rope. <laughs> you know. As you can see, there's a little fray where he oh, has, dude, in got, fact. Got probably need to change that rope eventually. So we're going to tie this pig off. Great notsmanship, sir. Where is it tied off to? Right, right by his waist? Yeah, it's going to pull him right down to his death. <laughs> no, 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 it's right. <laughs> by his waist. Yeah. <laughs> A wobbly H up there. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so to drop it, All what right. we'll do is call the conventional notch where you take a chunk that's like a fifth of the tree's diameter and then line it up and that'll control its landing real nice. King of the world, Jack.
Yeah, so this torture device is called the Timber King. It handles up to a 33 inch diameter log and it can accurately cut up to 30 seconds of an inch. Um, essentially, it's a glorified bandsaw that makes really light work of any type of dimensional lumber that you want to create. So we dropped the tree about 11 months ago, so these boards have been planking for a while. And this is to prevent any splitting and checks. Bridget will like this board for some reason. It's a little flat, but looks nice. This is Socks. She's our uh, support dog. Sometimes will help. Oh, there we go. Got a par for the course for this channel. All right, Captain's Log of the Van Life Saga is here. As you can see, we have everything blacked out, ready to go for the slats that we're milling up. Uh, we would have footage of this, but uh, unfortunately, somebody double hit the record button, so it's actually footage of me just eating a Stroop waffle here on break that was kindly brought over to me instead. Man, these are good. And then we'll continue telling you about the slat process that we have here. So these are the pieces of the eastern pine that we had milled up from the tree that we fell earlier. And as you can see, we then ripped them down into smaller inch and five eight slats, which will be stacked up along these long cross members here. Uh, this will give the van a very modular design. And essentially what that'll do is allow us to have customization to move things around if we wanna hang or rack things. I don't know, just give it a really interesting appeal. Yeah, so the process of doing these slats is pretty self-explanatory. Put out your board, shaft piece here, put it in play, line it up, set it, and forget it. So it's getting darker and colder now. We'll get this thing to EG tomorrow and pick this up with the squad. This is where it all happened. It's very unfortunate. I mean, it was like just yesterday. He, he uh, fell funny. He did kind of fall funny. Quite honestly. He's a good man. Yeah. He'll be missed. Yeah, for sure. You know words to say, Chad? No. Uh, anyways. What the hell are you doing here? I thought you were dead. Nope. Well, welcome back. You've uh, you missed a lot. I did miss a lot. That was busy doing stuff. It looks damn good in here, man. Guess I'll give you your wallet back, but all that you had inside it were a bunch of... Ready? 
Richard, this says for motion picture soundtrack. That's not real money. I, I see that, so I, I guess you can have that too. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. We need these two just in case. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, we... Looked, well, we fell the tree. It was... <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I missed a lot. So yeah. you, you, you fell the tree, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm assuming you went to a mill of some sort, yeah. right? I have a sawmill. You cut these at the slats. You painted the backboards, mm -hmm. which look great, by the way. Contrast. Uh, great contrast. Yeah. And then you nailed the slats of the walls. Mm hmm Looks damn good in here, man. It's coming, man. It looks damn good in here, dude, I gotta say. It looks really good in here. So, now that we did this, what are the next steps for today? Uh, well, we gotta figure out our cabinetry mm -hmm. and the layout around here. We still have to finish this little void of plumbing that we haven't done. Yep. Uh, I gotta bring it through. Um, I'd like to get a couple of the other pieces for the ceiling once we get the solar tied in. Yeah. The cable in here. And then we'll be able to tie it all in. And I'll get the ceiling. That's probably not gonna happen today. That'll be like days from now. Thanks. Um, Safety first. Yeah, absolutely. Sorry, but either way. Real nice. All right, I'll see you guys in a few days. Okay. Nice work, boys. Oh, shit, it's shoe box. Oh, no, 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 those aren't for you, those are for everybody. Chad, what are you doing now, Chad? Talk to me. So this is the bracket for the uh, accumulator, the pressure accumulator. Mm -hmm. And I'm reverse mounting the bracket and bending it at a 45 so it fits on the fender. Nice. Okay, let me check this thing out. So that it, was a, a 45 degree. for you, yeah, I see yeah. it. What's Steven, was that pull-up bar? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, these see, are brackets to get the last piece of sheathing over here once we figure out our Ah, uh, yeah, we have, to, we have to pull the, uh, the security the security dad camera yeah. have to go through here. We get some more wiring to do here. So we, these brackets are so we can get the sheathing to split in the Where's middle. the, um, even more importantly, I know this, you think this is important. The most important thing I want to focus on is where the in van camera is going to go. Oh, because definitely you, right above Because there. you want to get like a yeah. really wide angle of Absolutely. everything on the van. So do you want to go from front to back or back to front? Definitely right here. Top yeah. down, bird's eye view. Yeah, maybe like pointing right yeah, down yeah, here. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, cool. That's the way. We'll do that. Yeah, so we'll drill a little safe hole right is, there. Is the most safe way to do it. Right, exactly. Sure. This is going to be, I'm, I'm so excited to keep her safe. It's nothing more important than keeping people What's safe. What's more important than safety? Nothing. Because it's, it's one thing for Chad or like, or, or Once, you know, yeah. or Brian or myself or, or Steve on to like check in and call her and make sure she's okay. But if we have a live feed here, that's tens of thousands of people making sure that she's safe. For the, uh, for the tank on the top, we have a little nipple on top of the vent. Yeah, so we're gonna put the vent in place. All right. I see our yeah. fitting. So that's gonna be for the vent. Yeah. That's our fill. Okay. And then on the bottom there, I'm, I'm still working on it. There's gonna be a shutoff valve coming on the bottom of the tank. Right. So that's gonna come down, down low. This so tank's actually gonna throw it back. Yep. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Keep going a little more. About there. Yeah. So that's gonna go into the tank that way. Okay. So that way, if you ever have a leak anywhere in the system, you can shut the full tank off. So right. the whole tank doesn't drain and fill them up the van. I want to buy a um, a very simple water switch to tell how high the water level is. Because once this is covered up, mm -hmm. we'll have no idea of right. how much we have in this. Oh, so, what we could do is we could just do it the old school way, and I could just fill it up. Huh? Put a cycle glass? <laughs> but, <laughs> I was thinking, cycle, oh, not cycle glass, but... Filling it up until the water starts peeing out of the vent. You can do that. That's not a problem. <laughs> no, seriously. That's that's, that's why the vent is outside. Yeah. So like, if you do overfill it, it just squirts. It just goes right, right under your shoes. Yeah, exactly. But not these because they're waterproof, and this is not a Vessi plug, so I might cut this out anyways. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Definitely. <laughs> Though we do wear them. I mean, that's, well, yeah, see, we wear all the time. But it's just an honest uh, statement. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just cut that out. You, you could do two different ways of that. You could do the electronic sender, which you can cut a hole in the top and drop a sender in. Mm -hmm. Or you could do the old school sight glass ways, where if you put a uh, fitting with a ninety. Yep. Clear tube with another fitting with a You can see where it is, you yeah. You can see the level. But, but we're assuming this is going to be exposed. I thought it was going to be encased yeah. underneath I the Yeah, I mean, thing. you could do that. I mean, if you wanted to, to have a cabinet come out and, like, just have the tubes come out from the outside, come down and go back in the cabinet again. I see what you're you saying. You can keep it You can keep it visible if you really want to go that way. I got you. I like, personally, I like the electronic way. You don't see anything. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too, the electronic way. I mean, I don't know. The other thing, too, is where... Are we going to have enough space? So the, the level sensor is, the sensors are usually just either a float with a 
like a corkscrew type of straight rod so mm -hmm. you can have it straight down. Right. And since the tank's the furthest down here and it's high because this is an arch, so it's right. like a big L, mm -hmm. you can very easily put the hole like right here and go straight down the front of the tank. But I think there's, there's simpler setups too. Uh, the one you're describing has a float which will tell you the exact level. Exactly. But I think yeah. there's also ones that just are a simple on and off to say whether it's low or, you yeah, know what I mean? You could do those. Yeah, it, I mean, it, 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 whatever. It it's matter. nicer to know what your level is what your actual level than, is. Right. than on, like, I'm empty or I'm full. It's Right. No, no, I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, random offside. Chad. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Are you on mm, your second so street damn block? good. Oh, he's on his second right, one. Go on, go on. I'll, I'll oh, it's not even 10 in the morning. Whoa. I'm like a goldfish, dude. I'll just get bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. This is one half of the security system we'll be using for Linda. And Linda cam. The Linda cam. Fun fact. <laughs> I don't know when she's gonna see this or not, but we're gonna have watch. the soup waffle crumbs on it. <laughs> You've got I car wonder why. caramel. Caramel? Oh, caramel? Okay. Caramel. caramel. People say a lot of mm. things. They'll debate amongst it in the comment section. Mm. Uh, Here's a DVR, right? And these cameras are the ones that are gonna go outside of the van, but little known thing. It's like a real DVR system, like a real like big ass cameras with their weatherproof. The most important thing is there's going to be a fifth camera. Where's that Ooh. fifth camera going to go? Inside. Above the Inside bed. Inside the van. Above the bed. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is <laughs> Linda cam. Have a, um, <laughs> we'll call it the Linda cam. Mm -hmm. We're going to have this thing where you could log into it live. <laughs> and see what Linda's doing and check because like the biggest thing every point in time yeah everybody wants to know that was the biggest it was like oh she's not gonna be secure like when you have the partition in we'll uh, have a website live stream all the time anytime you want to wake up and check on her you can exactly and that's for safety you're welcome so all the simp like, oh she's not gonna be safe 24 she's gonna be safe 24 hour access to Linda you could see what she's doing what she's eating is she sick you, know, you just never know so that's gonna be the next thing it's gonna be great so stay tuned for that you're gonna love it but for the people oh, it's, all, it's, it's all in the name of safety only Vance only Vance only yeah, it's not it's the only Vance <laughs> coming soon and our question is those fittings are those weather tight yeah but these hmm. I don't know. This is Rich's homeowner edition. Stop looking at me, yeah. Schwann. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> literally, yeah, literally home like, yeah. yeah, literally home like cameras. But they're white, the van's white. Figured why not, right? It might We're not. gonna have one big obnoxious one sticking out the front of the top. Of the <laughs> These are absurd. <laughs> it's not necessarily subtle, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, we want people to know, like, hey, this uh, is a security camera. Yeah. This is more for, this is like a big flex. Like, hey guys, listen. It's like the, the stores that have the smile, you're on camera. So we can exactly. Yeah. It's, it's like a big flashing of, light. You, you love it. right on the top of this van, right, right by the antenna up there. You know what I mean? Just they put it out in front and just- We could do that. You know, just make it obnoxious. Hold on, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna give this a different angle. So it, it points down and it's like, hold on. <laughs> this swan looking down upon us. Yeah. Judging. Always judging. Always judging. Always watching. My big brother is watching. That there you go. So, stick it up here. <laughs> right. 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 How's that for judgment? You know what I mean? Jesus Christ. I know, it's, it's a bit much. This is like Waymo over here. Where's, where's awesome. Giant LiDAR crap going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Can't block the light. Oh yeah. gosh. Yeah, you yeah. Do it yeah, yeah no, that's gonna, that's gonna it. cause a shadow. You can yeah. do it on the other uh, side. Jeez. So we'll have one there facing down, right? And we're gonna have one here. Actually, that's too easy. Too, too easy access. You don't want. It. You want it up here, and that one's going to be facing this way. Look at that. So okay. only tall people can steal it. Yeah, only tall. Wait, can you reach this, Brian? Yeah, probably. Reach it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with that. You can't reach that, can you? You can start with. All right, how about that? We'll have it up there, facing backwards like that. And it gives you a 360 view. You know what I mean? It's all too big, man. I don't think it's, I think it's fine. These were a great price, Chad. Show of hands, I think it's too big. They're too Ryan, big. Ryan, they're too big. Chad, yeah. too big. Steve on, they're too it's big. It's too big. Send them back. Yeah, take them back, man. There's no return policy. 
Well, hmm. I, I bought well, it off. I bought it some guy, and he's just like, just, I can't send it back. Craigslist, so. eBay, the one ad, the one ad. How old are you? <laughs> the one ad. Apparently too old. Seventy-four. <laughs> the one ad. <sighs> Whatever. I'll just ship it back. I'll use ship station. Oh. Is that so? Yeah. Tell me more. I mean, it's one of the few times you can actually use a reliable shipping service and get discounts that a lot of the major companies use. For example, FedEx and UPS. You get great shipping discounts. And the corporate discount is the biggest thing. You could easily print the shipping labels from your computer. Super easy to use. And it's a great price. So I use ShipStation for that. To so ship things that... I don't want to send back all the time. You know, you could make ship happen with ShipStation. I didn't say that at all on there. That says security made That's smarter. Too bad. You need a box for that and a shipping label. Why don't you call ShipStation to get your labels? I can print it online, can't I? Yeah, you can. Hey. The best. The best. Thanks, ShipStation. Thank you. Good. Where's that gonna go? Insulation. Are we gonna stuff some more up there? What do you think? Oh yeah, absolutely. No, no, there'll, okay. there'll be more wool. Stuff I mean, in there. All why right. wouldn't you? I don't know, because we have a boy budget. Do we have any more wool left? I didn't see any more. Right behind you. Look at that. Look at this glorious wool. Mm. Yeah, man. The sticks are and everything. It's great. It feels like an actual sheep. Mmm, that smells like a barn. Yeah. In the next episode, Brian busts out his cabinetry making skills. Chad's on plumbing, Steve-On is back on wood duty, and I'm, well, working on assembling the components for the van solar system, as well as the security system, both in and out. We have the solar charge controller, the inverter, the main fuse box, the main battery cutoff switch, and the controls for the LED interior lighting. And two very important boxes for my friend Alex over in the UK. This is the tuner box that will allow us to remove the speed limiter of 60 miles an hour in the van, and it's also going to give us features like launch control and a few other cool things. We have pretty much everything here except for the kitchen sink. Oh wait, we have that too. What's up, Biscuit? Again, if you want to save yourself the 1,038 steps that you've been seeing in these videos, simply go to Omaze and enter the chance to win at your own fancy sprinter van that Linda can move into instead of this one. We will see you all next week. Good boy. Good boy.